What's up guys, it's Manny here back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you should approach your coach if you want something a little bit different out of out of whether it be your playing time or, or your role on the team. So check it out. So the very first thing you need to know is you cannot go to your coach um, with, with anger or hatred or, 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 or disappointment um, in your tone or a defeated tone. Coaches are not going to listen to that. They're not going to even worry about that. They're just gonna be like, it's just another um, upset player that they're not playing as much as they want or they're not getting as much shots um, and they're being selfish. So you have to go to your coach with a plan of action um, and and your thoughts already thought out and laid out on your you know, on a piece of paper or whatever um, before you go talk to them. So what I mean by that is is you have to understand. Okay, why are you going to talk to your coach right now? Okay, I'm not playing a lot. Okay, um, have you done your self reflecting? If you have not done your self reflecting, you this conversation is going to go nowhere. So. I'm not playing a lot. Um, I do realize I'm not the best shooter. Um, I do realize I mean, maybe I'm not the best ball handler. Um, I'm working on it. What are some of the things that you can do or what are some of the things that I can do, coach, uh, to help me out um, and, and, and gain your trust to get out there a little bit more? You got to have your thoughts together. Um, going to talk to your coach is something that you should do regularly. I, I think players don't do this enough. You need to have a good relationship with your coach. Um, it builds trust. Trust leads to more playing time, trust leads to more shots, and more playing time and more shots lead to more points per game, more points per game lead to um, you know being better in the eyes of a lot of coaches, and being better in the eyes of a lot of coaches lead to obviously a lot of other things, scholarships, contracts, things like that. Um, and it's not just about points, but, but you get what I'm saying. All of this stuff is, is, is correlated to, to what we wanna to get to. So I think players should really Go talk to their coaches a lot more. You should have it a, a, a once a week, um, once every two weeks thing. And we're just checking in and, and seeing what's making the coach hip. A lot of times when you do this, the coach will tell you, man, we're, we're not very good on the defensive end. Thing. Okay. Now I know I need to be better on defense and practice and the games focus on it. Coaches will tell you what they want. They're here to help you. We're all on the same team. You know, the coaches, your coach is the player. You're on the same team. They're going to tell you what they need. So, so, so meeting with your coach uh, monthly or weekly, whatever you want to do, is something that's very important. But going in there and approaching them the right way is even more important. So make sure you have your thoughts uh, out and, and you've got a plan of action. The next thing is watch your tone. Have a tone of, of, of curiosity and, and excitement and joy and man, I can't wait to do this. I want to get better at this. How do I get better at this? Um, I want this to be my role. How do I get this to be my role? Have a, a tone of, of I want to learn versus I'm telling you this is what I want. This is what needs to happen. And if you don't give it to me, I'm leaving the team and going somewhere else. There, there, there's a time and place for everything. There is times you know, when coaches aren't doing you right um, and you might have to be a little bit more stern. But for the nine, Point eight out of 10 times, you need to go in there with curiosity on your mind. Coach, hey, how can I get better at this? Coach, um, you know, you, you mentioned how you, I, I didn't get in in the fourth quarter. Why? What do I need to get better at? Ask them questions, put the onus on them, make them give you the feedback, take their feedback, go run with it, go get better. That is the formula. So when you come in, make sure, you know, don't let them walk all over you and deflect all the things that you want. Get your answers but make sure you come in with the idea of, I'm trying to get better, and when I get better, you look better, you get better, and we're the team, we're a team. So how do I get better, coach? What do you see that I can do to, to make me get a lot better and help this team out even more? The last thing I will add is talk to other coaches besides the head coach. You know, if you're on a basketball team, you understand that you have assistant coaches, you've got special assistants, you've got other coaches. Talk to other coaches besides the head coach all the time. Other coaches are in the meetings with the head coach. They understand, you know, kind of the head coach's thought process. Talk to them first. Get their ideas, get their thoughts before you go talk to, to the head coach. That will help you out greatly because you can align what the assistant coach tells you to what you're going to tell the head coach and they're gonna automatically think, okay, this guy's done his homework, this guy understands the culture, this guy understands the goals of what we're trying to do. Um, and this will just help you prepare more for that conversation with your coach. And if you feel you're comfortable, you don't need to talk to you know really anyone else and you can talk to just the head coach, that's fine. But building a relationship with the assistant coaches is going to be just as key because they're coaches as well. They they have say in, in, in certain things. 
as long as, as you have a good relationship with them, there's a way better chance you're gonna have a good relationship with your head coach because your head coach hired them for the most part and worked with them every day, so, so he's gotta be somewhat close to him. Sometimes coaches butt heads, but for the most part, you know, if you've got a relationship, good relationship with one coach, it's going to feed into your relationships with the other coaches. With that being said, guys, this is Manny Watkins Basketball, and the main thing I want to get out of this video is just to go talk to your coach, set up a plan, have them help you set up a plan, um, and get better. You, we, a lot of times we miss out on opportunities because we don't communicate. And I'm telling you right now, if you haven't talked to your coach and you're wanting to after this video, go talk to him or even cut the video off right now. Go call your coach, go talk to him, um, build out a plan. I promise you, this is going to do 10 million times more harm than good if you do it the right way. If you go in with curiosity and you're trying to learn, um, that's what's gonna happen. And that's kind of how anything in life, if you go in with the mindset of, I want to learn, I wanna get better. If you keep doing that, you're gonna get better. You're not going to get worse. So make sure you go do that. Um, again, reach out to me if you have any questions. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Comment, I love reading the comments. The few that I get, I love interacting with you guys. I love making these videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.